slice into this heavenly cheesecake with a sweet gulab jamun filling and a crisp good day chunkies crust. Welcome back to the Britannia Dessert Carnival. I'm Mini Mathur and today I'm going to make a very interesting encrusted good day chunky gulab jamun cheesecake. Are you ready for it? Because I am. So I'm ready to begin and to add a extra chocolatey crunch to my base. I'm going to be using the Good Day Chunkies Triple Chocolate Chip Cookies because they really give a very delicious taste to the base. So with the crushed cookies, I'm going to be using melted butter over it. Ooh. And I'm going to be using some cashews. And if you see the base with these triple chocolate chip cookies is so, so good. You can see how well it's made. I'm going to take it and now take a spring form tin and I'll send to it. And I'm going to pat it into place. I really like a thick base in my cheesecake. And my base is nicely set. It looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for about half an hour so it can set nicely. And then we can put the cheesecake mixture on it. I'm going to take some milk and warm it just a little. The milk is warm and I'm going to take some saffron. If you just leave it to soak, all the yellow color is going to release itself. With this, I'm going to add some elaichi powder. That Since the milk is warm, I'm going to switch it off. But not before I add the gelatine. You can also uh, strain the gelatine for a better sort of effect so that it doesn't form any crystals. But I'm going to be stirring it non-stop so that it blends really nicely. So the gelatine, the lychee powder, the saffron and the milk is now cooling. Now while my saffron milk cools over there, I'm going to take the cottage cheese and the hunkered, the cream and the condensed milk and put it in the blender. But here's a chunky tip of the day. If you don't have cottage cheese you can also replace it with cream cheese and whipped cream and you don't need to use all four things but try and go for it in the long form so add cottage cheese in goes the cream it's good that you're making it for the festive season so you're allowed all these calories that's the condensed milk in and now the hung curd So I've blended these four cheeses and I'm going to now add the cooled milk to it. Pan, it's nice and cool. Now let's find out if our crust has set in the tin and we will be ready. Now my crust has set beautifully. I'm going to put the gulab jamuns on it. I hope I don't eat them all. Now if your gulab jamuns are really big, you can cut them into half but I've kind of chosen to use the really small ones. Now I'm ready to pour my cheese mixture into this around it. My bowl is now ready and I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 3 to 4 hours. So this is a dessert that needs a little bit of planning. It's not a real quick fix dessert but trust me it's going to be worth it. So let me just put it in the fridge and be right back. Our Good Day Chunky Gulab Jamun Cheesecake is absolutely ready. It looks fabulous. I'm going to do now the prettying up. I'm going to take toasted and crushed pistachios. This is the most important thing in a cheesecake. You have to first loosen the sides, right? 
that is done now i'm going to show you some magic this is the point at which you can be snubbed by your cheesecake okay you take a glass put your cheesecake over it very gently open out your spring form tin it's done and that's it this dessert is done so this festive season you can impress everyone you know by attempting this good day chunkies gulab jamun cheesecake trust me it works so if you liked this dessert please do press the like button and recipes like happiness must be shared so please do share it and to find out more of what's happening on the britannia dessert carnival just subscribe till next time this is mini mathur saying bye happy cheesecaking